Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a duct tape craft, of course. Yay! I'm going to teach you how to make a duct tape coin pouch, or whatever you want to call it. The main point is that they have Ziploc openings. Here's an up close of my designs. For this one I used hot pink duct tape and denim duct tape and then I glued rhinestones on with E6000 glue. For this one I used white duct tape and then I colored my own design on it with black sharpie marker and then I put clear tape over it, like clear packaging tape, and I put a black trim of course. And the back of it has lines. And then this one is chevron duct tape with a white border. This is probably one of the most simple duct tape crafts I have on this channel. Um, the duct tape bows for you beginners, um, that's another simple one. And as you have seen, like there's a bow on this, so if you want to learn how to make it, I have a video on how to make a duct tape bow. So when I say these are Ziploc pouches, it's because you can use Ziploc from Ziploc bags to um, actually put inside of them. You of course will need some duct tape. I use duck brand duct tape. There's pattern and plain rolls. I use this cutting board that I just got from Walmart. I do have a Walmart haul up that you guys should check out. And then an X-Acto knife. Woohoo! You can get an X-Acto knife from any craft store, maybe hardware stores. But if you don't have one, you can use scissors or just rip it with your hands. But that is hard and like usually tape gets stuck to scissors and it's hard to rip it um, on your own because it, it tires out my hands. I don't know about you guys. Start off by taking a Ziploc bag. You can either use one of the little craft ones or a regular Ziploc sandwich bag. You can also find heavy duty zippers or double zippers, but I just have like normal ones. I'm going to use this one. It's already cut. Be sure you leave a little bit of plastic underneath the zipper and you're going to leave a little at the top too, but that's too much so I'm going to cut some off. Then you need to cut the ends off so you can pull it apart. Now you should be able to completely separate your Ziploc pieces. At this point, we're going to start measuring and cutting tape. I'm going to show you how to make one that's about 3 inches by 4 inches. These ones are also 3 inches across, but I made them shorter. If you want to use this pouch to hold a card, you definitely have to make it at least 4 inches. Because if I put a card in these ones that I made, it won't zip. So I'm unrolling the duct tape and sticking it down on my cutting board. If you want to make your pouch 3 inches by 4 inches, then you need to cut 8 3 inch strips to start with. There we go. Now you're going to take one side of your Ziploc and a 3 inch piece of tape, then stick it right underneath the zipper, like so. So that's what it should look like. Flip it over and fold the Ziploc down. So then you'll have a piece that looks like this, and you're going to repeat that for the other side of the Ziploc. Here's both Ziploc pieces. We're going to add another 3 inch piece to both of them. Just use a very slight overlap. Do the same for this one over here. Then you're going to flip them over. Again, grab a 3 inch piece and put it right underneath the zipper. Make sure that it is centered as best as you can get it. This is going to be the inside of your pouch, so you can use a different color if you want to save on your pattern pieces. You can use a solid piece. Like on this chevron one, I used white tape on the inside. And then repeat the step for this one. Now you're going to decide the height of your pouch. Like I said, I wanted to make mine 4 inches, so this line would be my 4 inch mark. To hold this down, I'm just going to put my other panel on top of it. It just helps it stay in place better. And then you put your piece of tape so it's lined up on the 4 inch mark. And set it down right on your panel. Perfect. Then we're going to repeat this step with the other panel. I'll just try to hold it down this time. We'll see. So four inches and down. It's okay if you have like tape on the sides because when you put the trim on that will cover it up. Alright, so at this point you're going to ziplock your pouch back together. Make it line up and stuff. Then cut two more three inch strips. Again, I have the ziplock together so both pieces are joined. Take a three inch strip and just set it down on your panel. Then flip it over and fold it. 
Make sure it's pretty tight on the crease there and just stick it down. Then you're going to open your panel up. So undo the Ziploc. Then you'll see this little sticky gap on the inside. Take your final strip and you're just going to lay that in the middle there. And fold it back over and Ziploc it back up. As we've established, mine is four inches high. So we're going to cut a piece of tape that's four inches. Then you're going to cut this in half, so right down the middle. You'll have two strips in this case. I'm going to lay this strip down at the edge and make sure it goes all the way up to the top. Stick it down well, flip it over, then fold it over. Make sure it hugs the edges tight so there's not a white gap on the inside. Then do the same for this piece of tape. Stick it down as close to the bottom edge as you can. Make sure it goes straight up to the top. And finally, you fold over as tightly as you can. With denim duct tape, I think it'd be cool to make it look like a pocket. So maybe you could use some E6000 glue and glue a button onto it. And there's a Ziploc on the inside. There's a little gap of tape right there, which you want to try to avoid, but it's nothing that bad. And I did make one more duct tape pouch last night, so this is my star one, and there's little triangles on it to make it look like super cool. It's 3D. To make a triangle, cut a one inch square of duct tape, so one inch by one inch, about. That's kind of off. Then you're going to fold in a corner, fold in the other corner, and that will make a point, and then you keep making these, and you can stick them on and do whatever you want with them. There we have it, all my duct tape pouches together in one shot, a big happy duct tape pouch family. Yeah, that was lame. <laughs> so lame. All right. Yeah. So there they are. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you make your own duct tape pouch, go ahead and tweet me a picture or add it to my Facebook fan page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be putting out more duct tape crafts in the near future and other crafts such as polymer clay and random stuff and reviews and mail videos. So stay tuned and please check out all of my links in the down bar to my Facebook fan page, my Instagrams, and my Twitter. Tweet me. Alright, you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye! Butterfly necklace. If you want to see some of my fall outfits, check out my Sarah Lynn Fashion channel. Kelly, why are you climbing the screen? Seriously? Look at that. You're all the way up there. Get down, buddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey. You just interrupted my filming. Hi. Alright, now I gotta film. So, as I was saying,